What is up YouTube, that's it here, and today I'm bringing you guys another episode of an Twinget. We are using a brand new overlay, I've been having a ton of problems with my webcam, so we're probably going to be doing no webcam for just a little while until I can everything fix, so we're slowly going to integrate this uh, overlay into the videos you guys start seeing. So, the team we're going to be using today in this in a Twinget VGC 2018 episode is going to be a team based around in prison Uxie, and not just in prison Uxie, it's... Psychidium Z in Prison Uxie. This Pokemon actually seems really fun to play with, and I'm going to talk about its set after I reveal the items of the rest of the team. So, the rest of the team is going to be, well, the rest of the items is going to be the Psychidium Z on Uxie. We're going to be running a Citrus Berry on Zapdos. I was thinking about running Citrus Berry or something like, you know, a Super Citrus, like a 50% Berry, but I decided that regular Citrus Berry fits uh, this team's playstyle a little bit more. We're going to be running Leftovers on Heatran, Assault Vest on Woody Colo, Boca Sash on Whimsicott, and then Salamon Sight for Mega Salamon. So, what I wanted to talk about with the set is the Uxie set in particular. You could say that Uxie should probably just be a Cresselia, but Uxie gets a couple moves that Cresselia doesn't. Mo more notably than any other is in prison. So what we're going to be able to do, I'm sure you guys have seen me use imprison teams in the past, we are going to imprison their trick room, we are going to imprison their ally switch, and we're going to be using Z imprison, which is going to give us a times 2 special D boost. Now, originally this Uxie had a mental herb on it because its moveset, I believe, is imprison, ally switch, trick room, and helping hand. So originally, you know, it just had a mental herb, but I was like, you know what, I, I might as well just get a times 2 special D boost and make it so I'm all, my, you, you also can't taunt a Z move, so that means I can always imprison anyways. So I think that that's probably going to work pretty well. Uh, this Pokemon automatically helps me beat those hard trick room teams. It helps me beat those ally switch teams, and then it has huge helping hands for things like Mega Salamence and Heatran. So I think this team's going to be a lot of fun to play. I think Whimsicott's a standard Pokemon. Zapdos, Heatran, Salamence, you know, those are all great Pokemon by themselves. And with the addition of this Uxie, I think we're going to be able to win some games. So we're going to hop right into it. Wish me luck. Here we go. Alright, so our very first game is going to be going up against Amoongus Bulu. I already think that's very weird. Titar, Marowak, Mawile, and Porygon. So this guy has somewhat of a Trick Room team. It's somewhat of a Trick Room team. I think I can actually get away with going Salamence against a lot of these guys. Salamence Uxie actually seems like it's pretty dang good, doesn't it? It only really loses to the Titar. So let me see how I want to deal with this. Hmm. Salamence is really good. What if we just went, like, Uxie, right? And Ludicolo. How does that actually work? Does that does that work? No, actually, I think I'm going to go Salamence and then Ludicolo in the back. So I can switch out Salamence for Ludicolo if uh, the T-Tar leads, and then that's fine. And then I'm thinking about Asmon. I like Zapdos, but there's the Marowak, so I think I'm going to bring Heatran instead. I like this. This, oh, this totally just works for me, I think. All right, we're starting off Uxie. Hopefully this works. Hmm... What do you guys think of Uxie? Leave a comment below. Let me know if you guys like Uxie. What is your favorite of the three legendary lake spirits? Personally, my favorite is Azelf, and then Mespirit, and then Uxie. But I do know that Uxie is a very good Pokemon. It's something you can definitely respect, especially as, like, an old-school player of singles. Like, Uxie is a good Pokemon. It gets a lot of movies. Cresselia doesn't. So we see Bulu Titar. What we're going to be doing in this very first turn is we're going to try to gauge the speed tearing, see if there's any weird scarf on either of those mons, because I think Bulu has a higher base speed than Titar, so we're gonna maybe be able to pick up some stuff. It looks like none of them have a scarf, and it looks like everything's going completely according to plan. Now, I'm probably just gonna be switching out my Stalaments for Ludicolo here, and let's see. I could go for the ally switch. I could do it. Um, I think I'm just gonna go for... Do I even want... I don't even want a Z in prison, because, like, it doesn't get me anything. Let me think. I actually could just go for the uh, Helping Hand. I think I'm actually just going to Helping Hand and, and uh, Mega Ball Hyper Voice. I think that's actually probably a pretty good play. Another play I could do, actually, I thought of an even better play. We're going to switch out Uxie for Woody Cola. And we're just going to protect. We're not even going to Mega Evolve yet because we don't have to. Remember, you don't want to Mega Evolve with Salamence until you absolutely have to because you can reuse that Intimidate over and over and over again. And so what we're going to be doing with this play is we're going to be setting up um, you know, a turn two where we can go fake out on the T-Tar and then double edge the Bulu. So he's going for the Rock Slide. Cool. I'm not eating that free damage on Salamence. Looks like he went for... I'm thinking he's double Rock Sliding me. Maybe he's crunching my Woody Colo. Uh, maybe Dark EMZ. Life or Bulu? How niche. Alright, so we see double Rock Slide. You know, I'm actually happy that I protected. Uh, 
like, I take those. Yeah, I totally take those. So we're going to see. I kind of want to just save my Intimidates, to be honest. Hmm. Like, I could just switch out Salamence and actually just Giga Drain that Etar and probably go back up to full. I'll be on the back. I have Heatran. Huh. Well, I'm going to be Giga Drain in the Titar, I think. And I think I'm actually just going to Mega Evolve. I think I'm just going to Double Edge the Bulu. I want Bulu gone, and Double Edge should be able to take it out. So, I'm being a little bit forceful here. I don't think I need to be this aggressive. But I think that if that's the position he's put himself in and he's staying in to eat this damage, I think he'll be fine. So if who's going to protect, eh, it's not really the end of the world, but I think I'm going to be okay. So Titar's going to, he's double protecting, okay. That's very weird to see double protect, because like if I was going to Tailwind, this would have been the turn. I guess he's protecting to block Fake Out, and I can 100% agree with that play. So now that we've shown what we we're going to do, I think he might switch some things out and around. So we're going to check his team one more time to make sure he can't switch into anything that's really that big of a problem. Alright, Ludicolo is faster than the Bulu as well. So Ludicolo is faster than pretty much everything, and that's good, that's good. You could switch in Amoongus, but like Amoongus doesn't want to switch in on a Hyper Voice. I don't think Hyper Voice actually takes out Bulu, but it's a Life or Bulu, so like we might. But he's slower than my Ludicolo, which means that, that does mean that he's bulky, so I'm going to do the exact same play, I think. We're just going to Giga during the T-Tar. And Double Edge. Now, he could switch out that T-Tar for Mawile. That is definitely a problem. He's withdrawing Bulu. If Bulu switches out for Mawile, I'm fine. Yeah, that's that's okay. Because Mawile actually doesn't get its boost uh, to the bulk until it Mega Evolves into Mega, Mega Mawile. Like, right now, it actually just kind of sucks. And remember, we are packing that juicy Fire Blast on our Salamence. So, uh, we're going to be okay. I think Fire Blast can take out Mawile from there. So we're going to Giga during this T-Tar. Hopefully, this brings us, like, back up to, well... Not really full, but, like, that's a lot of damage. Like, look at the health we're getting back. That is huge. He's going to go for Rock Slide. All right, he's going to hit our T-Tar. Or, sorry, he's going to hit our Salamence. Is it? That's definitely not going to put us within Sucker Punch range. I think we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to show uh, our Fire Blast this turn. And a lot of people think it's really weird to have Fire Blast on Salamence. But I'm one of those people that, in, like, 2015, I got caught by Mawiles and Aegislashes too frequently. And this, remember, this team does have, like, Sunny Day on Whimsicott. It has Helping Hands from Uxie. So I think, um, you know, the addition of Fire Blast on Salms is actually really, really good. I don't know if we can kill Mawile from here. I did not take into account the uh, Grassy Terrain. So we'll see. At the very least, I think this should put him low enough to where I don't think he's that big of a problem anymore. He's going to go Mega. I expect Protects to happen here. Uh, because I'm the one taking damage, and uh, yeah, he's protecting with T-Tar. Let's see if he protects with Mawile. Nope. Oh, I missed my Fire Blast! Are you freaking kidding? Are you absolutely shitting me right now? That That's probably the game loss, I think. If I'm going to lose the game, it's because of that Fire Blast miss. Like, I have a Heatran, but it would have been nice to have my Salamence, you know, the thing that checks his Bulu. That really, really sucks. Okay, um... Oh my goodness, that is absolutely terrible! Okay. Gotta send Heatran out. We're actually gonna switch this up a bit. I think he's gonna protect with his Mawile, so what we're gonna actually do... I think he's gonna... Like, watch, we're gonna Scald the Mawile slot, and we're actually gonna Magma Storm the T-Tar. And you may think that that's a really, really bad play, but I think he's switching in Bulu. Because his T-Tar can't protect himself this turn. And Bulu could eat a Giga Drain, no problem. So we're going to see what he does. Uh, yeah, I can't believe I missed that Fire Blast. That's absolutely terrible. We miss every Fire Blast you take. So he's protecting with Mawile. Wow. Wow. He, wow. He was just going to lose his Ludicolo. I could have went Giga Drain sub, and he would. I would have won the game probably. I mean, at least I hit my Magma Storm. All right. Now, he can't switch his T-Tar right now, which is pretty good for me, actually. How is he moving? All right, well, Watery MZ Titar, what the hell? What? No thanks, bro. Watery MZ Titar. How often do you see this? It's boosted off of Surf. That's not even going to do any damage. <laughs> oh my goodness. That doesn't even sound good. Like, it doesn't even do... Like, he would have been better off with, like, Rocky MZ. Alright, Sandstorm subsides. His T-Tar is trapped here. I think I'm just going to Magma Storm and Giga Drain. Because his T-Tar can't switch, right? T-Tar cannot switch. 
And uh, he could protect and stuff like that, but that's about it. Now, the big problem here is we don't have any mons that actually win us the game. We are, we're out of the... Uh, we're out of the game winners here. Like, Salamence is, is KO'd. We should have protected him better. Alright, here we go. Mawal can't protect himself either. Mawal can switch, but uh, it's not looking too hot just because of that Fire Blast miss. And Flamethrower, you could say run Flamethrower over it, but like you need the Fire Blast actually. So Kicker Drain finally going to come in here. Just enough damage, I think. And I'll restore a good amount off that. Uh, let me think. I might switch out Woody Cole over Uxie. Magma Storm. We hit the Magma Storm. I don't know if we kill Mawal with Magma Storm, though. Alright, cool. Hey, I take those. Those are things I take all the way to the bank. So now, yeah, we're caught in another position where the guy can't switch. He's going to have to reactivate the terrain. And uh, it's going to give our Leekhole a huge boost to its uh, Giga Drain and its grass attacks. So that's good. That's good. Because Heatran is good against Bulu. Woody Cola is good against Bulu, potentially. Marowak. Wow. Okay. How am I actually going to do this? I actually have an idea for what I can do here. I'm going to hard switch in Uxie. Okay. And protect with Heatran. It's going to be a Leftovers and a Grassy Train proc. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to ally switch my Heatran into the Uxie slot. And then hopefully it'll work. At the very least, this helps me reset my... Uh, what is it? It helps me reset my fake out pressure. I'm just going to try and protect here. I also want to see the speed tierings based off these guys. But hopefully this works. If he's just Flare Blitzing my Uxie, you know, it doesn't really matter. He might be Flare Blitzing Uxie. Highly possible. So he trans protecting. I want to see if he's using a superpower on that Bulu or like Boomerang or something. So Bulu's protecting. He's going for the Protect Boomerang. I hope he's not Protect Subbing. That would be really, really bad. Boomerang. Cool. We're good. All right, Uxie. It's up to you. Are you going to read my Boomerang and Boomerang my Levitating Uxie slot? That is the question, isn't it? That's definitely the question of the day. Here we go. Do we need to Z-Ally switch? I don't think so. It only gives it gives me a speed boost that I don't even want. So we're going to Ally switch here and pop that juicy Magma Storm on that Boomerang. We got to hit the Magma Storm. It's so important. Ally switch. Here we go. Show me the money. Magma Storm. Hit! I'm surprised I was faster than Maroc, by the way. I didn't think I was going to be. Uh, oh my goodness. We're going to win. I can't believe it. Ah! Why would you bring... I, I Actually, we said he was going to bring Marowak, but let's see what he does. Boomerang. That's right. Uxie has Levitate. Now, wouldn't it be the funniest play to skill swap and give my E-Tran Levitate? <laughs> that'd, be the, that'd be so BM. All right. And now, Uxie going to come in hot with that helping hand, too, and support us in our endeavors so we're gonna go earth power here and we're in a helping hand and it looks like uxie generally did its job you know that's a forfeit we had we had the helping hand for that and we had the helping hand on scald i'm very very surprised <laughs> it looks like we were gonna lose right we missed our fire blast and he was playing standard and he busted out the watery mz t-tar and kind of just fell apart it's like that was it's like a different player took over halfway through the game. It was it was a perfect example of a guy that's like doing something and you know that that meme that says like hold my beer. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like I throw and then he's like no dude I got you I'll throw first. So pretty good first game. We're going to go into another one and see if we can continue to win with Uxie. Wish me luck. Here we go. All right. Woody Colo Kecleon. All right. More Bulu action as well. So Excadrill, Pelipper. This guy's a very unique team. It's somewhat rain, but the I'm thinking that's a Mold Breaker Excadrill. And then Mega Manetric. I really like this guy's team. And I do respect his Kecleon. How am I going to beat it? I mean, I'd like to go Ludicolo Battles, but I don't think that's the right way to do it. Whimsicott is going to be my lead, I think. But I don't know if I want to actually lead lead with it, you know? It's kind of hard to say. I think he's going to go Manetric Pelipper. I think that's what I would do if I were him. So what if I went Heatran, Whimsicott, Woody Colo. And then the last Mon, I'm thinking it's Zapdos, just because I do have the Heat Wave. And he has, like, freaking Excadrill Bulu. Like, I don't think Salamence is the right pick for the last Mon. I'm, I'm looking at it. I still have 28 seconds. Salamence is really good, but it gets gimped by an Ice Beam. Where Zapdos, if you have Ice Beam, you're going to need a little bit more. So we're going to go Zapdos there. 
And, and he doesn't have really that many physical attackers, so I think we're going to be okay. I really like the addition of Kepko on this team, and uh, some of you guys might know a YouTuber called Professor Willow. Professor Willow used to use a lot of Kekleon back in 2015, 2016, 2016, I think. And uh, I, I copied a bunch of Willow's teams. Not copied, but like, uh, that's where I first got my ideas to start using Regi Regigigas, because Regigigas Kekleon was amazing. So we see Pelipper and Ludicolo, I'm 100% okay with this. Now, he's going to be fake-outing our Whimsicott, and that's completely fine. I think he's going to be fake-outing our Whimsicott and, Hearts, and probably Z-moving our Heatran. So we're going to bait him with that, and we're going to double switch, I think. Actually, he can't do both. He's probably going to fake out Whimsicott. Now, the reason I love with Heatran is because I wanted to bait. So we're going to hard switch in that, and we're just going to hard cast a Sunny Day. Yeah, this works for me. If he fakes out Whimsicott, it's, I'll be fine. The switching in of the Ludicolo here makes it so I'm fine. All right, Woody Cola battle. He is fake out of my Whimsicott. Wow, very surprising. And he's probably just going for a hurricane. Whoa, whoa. Okay, he's hurricane Whimsicott. All right, I'm okay with that. That's a good read. That's a good read. Uh, I was gonna switch in Woody Cola, and that's all. I think he needed the crit to KO this Whimsicott set. But I do have my own uh, Woody Cola on the board. Uh, I'm not looking too hot, but uh, we'll see. I think I'm just gonna ice beam Thunderbolt. Dude, I could trade Tailwinds with him, but I don't think that gets me where I need to be. Hmm. Actually, I can just fake out his Pelipper and Tailwind here. That works. I wonder if his Ludico is gonna Z move me or if it's vested. It's a hard. It's a hard thing to say. Shoutouts to Ludico though, right? He's a drawing. Yeah, like Ludico mirrors. That's not a thing that most people want to do. Oh, he's switching and he thinks I'm going to Z-move the Woody Koa slot. Or that I'm going to Thunderbolt the Pelipper. Lightning Rod's a really good ability. Good thing I'm not doing anything with it. So Tailwind comes off. Those are the things that I take right here. I think I'm actually going to Heat Wave him. Just to get a little bit extra damage. I think we're going to Ice Beam the Pelipper. Actually, he's Water Flying, so that's neutral. It means it's a better idea just to Giga Drain. So we're going to Giga Drain the Pelipper. And we're actually just going to Heat Wave. If we can get a burn on either of these guys, I'll take it. 10% of the time every time. Manetric's protecting. He doesn't want to get nuked. And I can generally respect that play. Giga Drain coming in. Not doing too much. Heat Wave. I'd like to at least hit the Pelipper. Show me that I can hit it. He's staying He's staying Manetric, so he doesn't have to. So he can still use the Lightning Rod. And he's going to tailwind me back. Completely okay, I think. I have no problems with this. I think we're going to nuke the Manetric slot next turn. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna nuke my trick. I wonder if I should. No, this is fine. I'm still gonna heat wave. Oh, I could roost here because I think he's gonna hit me, but I can. I'm fine being like not at full. Let's see what he goes for. Hmm. I should have played better on turn one. I went way too overzealous on turn one. Let's see. I think he's gonna try and bolt switch out. But I'm still faster than he is, I think. I still I still think my Scald's faster than he is. Even after going into Mega Manetric. Wide Guard. Okay. That's actually so fine. I'll I'll make you Wide Guard to stop my Heat Wave. Oh, he is faster! No! He's hitting my Zapdos. That sucks. I wonder... He, he has to be timid then. He has to be. And that was a Thunder. Dude, Zapdos actually ate that really, really well. Let's Let's be realistic. I ate that like a champ. Alright, so I have Heatran in the back. It's starting to not be raining anymore. I'm just going to try and roost. I'd like to go back up to full. I'd like to be at full, like, when Ludicolo comes back out. This is the last turn of my Tailwind. I think he might be protecting this turn. It's hard to say. Hard to say for sure. Yep, there's the Protect. Completely fine. Um... I could have killed the Pelipper, I think, but we'll see what he does. I think he's just hurricaning my Woody Colo, which is a sick play. But it doesn't do enough. Alright, there's my Roost. I think he's going to Thunder my Woody Colo. I think I'm actually going to switch out. Actually, I think he's going to Hurricane Woody Colo and just Thunder my Zapdos. So we're going to hard switch in Heatran. And we're going to Tailwind again. 
and then we can just Thunderbolt the Pelipper slot. That's the plan. Hopefully it works. Wish me luck. Yeah, it's not looking too hot. We're definitely playing from behind for the rest of this game. One juicy Giga Drain, though, and I'm back in it. Like, Ludicolo is forever. He's confirmed that we're vested, for sure. Because any normal Ludicolo would have gotten KO'd from that. Let's see if, if he's switching into Ludicolo here. That's bad, but I don't think he is. There's the Thunder. I'm going to hit, hit my Zapdos slot. That one did less than last time. And Hurricane, don't confuse me, please. Please no confuse Arena, mi amigo. Perfect! Give me that. And tail and uh, rain should be starting to go away soon. Soon, TM. Yep. So his tailwind's gone, my tailwind's living. We're actually going to sub here. And we're just going to Thunderbolt his Pelipper. Let's see what he does about this. He did like 90 something. He did like 93 damage. So I think I'm actually going to be able to live it. There's a protect. Oh, juicy. That juicy sub. Oh my goodness. It's like giving me a whole nother Pokemon. Like, oh my gosh. Look how juicy this board is. Like, I'll take this. Yeah. Alright. Look at that. So juicy. I love it. And I have Tailwind for, like, two more turns. Like, his Minetric's fast, but that's about it. Oh my goodness, is that Pelipper, like, Damp Rock? It's been so many turns! We've waited through, like, two and a half Tailwinds, it feels like. Or we waited through, like, one and a half Tailwinds. If Woody Kongolo comes out here, like, I still think I'm okay. There's the Woody. Eh, maybe not. We'll, we'll see if I'm okay. We will see. Like, how would it's Damp Rock? Yeah, it is. This is the last turn of rain. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to earth power the Minetric. And I'm going to just try and roost this out. But I don't think it's going to work. Now, you know what? I'm not. You know what we're actually going to do? We're actually just going to protect with Heatran. And we're going to just go for a roost. We're going to try this. I hope this works. I think, if anything, he's going to go for a... Scald? It's it's hard to say what he's going to do, really. It really is hard to say. Let's see what he goes for. Ice Beam, so he's nuking my Latios. Or he's nuking my Ice... Dang it! He's nuking me! I'm so upset. I would have been fine. Why didn't you hit my Heatran, buddy? Actually, I, I will still be fine, because I'm going to resist the Thunder. Alright. Really surprised that I'm faster than Manetric was this turn. Because I haven't been for the last few turns. So it looks like me and Manetric have been in speed time. Rain stop. That means no more high accuracy thunders. That means no more super powered up destruction moves. And uh, yeah, I'll take these all the way to the bank. We're going to go Magma Storm on the Ludicolo. And how many turns of Tailwind do I have? I just want to check. One. This is my last turn of Tailwind. Alright. I'm just going to go for Heat Wave. Heat Wave would kill the Manetric here. Alright, he's withdrawing what he called. Who's eating Magma Storm? Kecleon, holy moly. Kecleon gonna eat Magma Storm. Oh, uh, dude, he's gonna resist the Magma Storm if he's using a uh, color change. But I think he might be protein. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what type he is. Where he is. Nope. He's, he's just gonna eat it. Dude, oh my gosh. Both these games, we have been coming back in these games. Like, it's, it's actually ridiculous how much coming back is being done. So Kecleon's trapped in Mag Swirling Magma. We are going to have to finish off Kecleon relatively soon, I think. Because I that's the one Enigma, I think, that can come out and like get him a, a game win or something. It is a protein Kecleon as well. Hmm. Yeah, I think Zapdos walls Ludicolo a little bit. It has potential too. So we're just going to Earth Power the Kecleon. And I think we're just going to Heat Wave again. Actually, is Tailwind gone? I'll try and just Tailwind again. I think it's I think it's important to keep it up. Because in the Woody Cola Mirror, yeah, he's going to fake out the Zapdos most likely. But that's fine. Zapdos is trying to Tailwind. So we're going for the EP. We're going to be able to kill the Kecleon most likely. Goodbye, Kecleon. Show me that. So it's Woody Cola versus the world. And we have our own Woody Cola. Like, I don't see a way that I lose this one. And I don't see how I actually came back. Like, being realistic, I really don't even know how I came back. 
I haven't won yet either, but I think I'm going to. I think I will win. Yeah, there's a four, but we take those. So, two games. We used Uxi in game one, and it definitely helped. But in game two, Zapdos put on its carry pants and just bulked out everything, and we somehow managed to win. I think definitely in game two, it came down to that one turn where I switched in Ludicolo and went extremely, like, defensive. And it, it was almost like a play that made very little sense, but it the switching out of my Ludicolo and, you know, putting up breaks on trying to sweep him uh, and deciding that I'm just going to wait out everything and, you know, analyze the situation, that was probably the, the turning point in game two. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this team in the comments below. I'm probably going to tweak it as these little videos go on. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching, and uh, again, you know, 2018, it's going to be amazing for this channel. I know I recently made a video talking about 2018 and all the things I'm looking forward to making, so any two inch videos are going to be staying, but uh, we're going to have to wait a little while before the camera gets fixed. So thank you guys for watching, let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.